Hello and welcome here to Talking FCB and welcome to reactions from the Champions League draw which took place this morning and what a draw. I've got to say I'm not I'm not going to celebrate a draw because I think we've seen this season from Arsenal fans celebrating when they drew Monaco. The last thing you want to do is celebrate the team you draw because at the end of the day it's down to the team to go out there and perform to the level that they're expected to and then afterwards it's time for the celebrating. What I will say is it's a decent draw for us because there are teams in that draw, or I would say a team in that draw, which I was looking to avoid. I think the only team that I would really have been not afraid of facing, but certainly I'd rather avoid them until the later stages, and that's Bayern Munich. They've got a side and, of course, a manager who could hurt us. Uh, but we could also hurt them, I believe, as well. So, you know, if I ha if we had drawn them, I still would have had hope that we could get through to the next round. But certainly PSG is is a decent draw for us because they've got some very good players. They're a very good side. I'm not, I'm not totally convinced by their manager Laurent Blanc he was coming for a lot of criticism this season PSG aren't, aren't actually top at the moment in Liga 1 so it's going to be interesting how they come into the game they're still fighting on all fronts in, in their domestic league they had a very very good win over Chelsea at ten, with 10 men at Stamford Bridge but at the same time it's a different sort of pressure on them now because they, they've got through here they almost feel as though they've made a big step in the right direction but can they take it to the next level and defeat a really experienced team in the Champions League like ourselves personally now Going into the first leg, we're going to be confident. Hopefully, we can keep up our form and our momentum going into that game. They've got some very, very big players missing in that game. Everyone I mentioned, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is missing due to his red card against PSG. But for me, um, PSG actually played better without him against Chelsea. Once he got sent off, they seemed very organised. They all pressed as a unit, and they seemed very, very good in terms of the way they played together without Ibrahimovic. They still had a threat in Cavani up front, who I don't qu quite believe he's like his former self. He's a bit like Radamel Falcao at the moment. He's lost lost his touch in front of goal, he's not quite the deadly clinical striker that we once saw, although he is still a big threat, don't get me wrong, he's still a very good striker, but at one stage he really was among the elite, I'm not quite sure that he's got that confidence at the moment, but the one player they're missing, and the one player that we should really celebrate being out of the game, to be honest, and that's Marco Verratti against Chelsea, he completely dominated the midfield area, and he's a very, very big part of PSG's team, he presses very well, he holds onto the ball well, and he doesn't allow you time on the ball, and that's very, very good for us, because our midfield, in the the first leg will be allowed to dictate the tempo they will be allowed to dictate the pace and that's going to be very very important at the Parc de Prance because we're going to need to get an away goal here and we're going to need to get a positive result to take back to the camp now and that's another very very positive thing actually the fact that the away leg and the second leg is going to be at the camp now we're going to arrive there knowing what we've got to do just like we did against Manchester City so to be honest, going into the draw, like I said, you didn't really want Bayern. But when PSG came out of the hat, you, you thought, you know, this is a game that we can win. But at the same time now, the players have got to be focused. I'm sure Luis Enrique will be in there today. They'll talk about the draw, of course. And he'll be saying, you know, we can win. There's definite. We'll go into that game as big, big favourites. But at the same time, we can't allow ourselves to be complacent. You know, we had a very, very difficult draw against Man City when it came out. They were they were the English champions. Now we've got the French champions. We need to make sure we go into there with the same mindset, the same attitude. And we need to make sure that we get the same result. And that we're in the, the semi-finals because it's a big chance for us. It really is. Luis Enrique's first season at Barca. There's a lot of changes going on. Lionel Messi is in some very, very good form indeed. Our players are starting to gel now. Our style is beginning to really take effect. And this is a very, very good chance for us. If we can beat PSG here, get our name in the draw for the semi-finals. And once you're in the semi-finals, you're only two games away then from the big final in Berlin. That's where we want to be. We want to be in that final. We want to be, you know trying to get our hands on that brilliant, brilliant trophy for the fifth time. That's what we want, and that's what the players have to make sure they go and do in the two legs against Paris. And to be honest, I think they will. Like I said, I'm not taking PSG lightly, and I know the threats that they you know, possess, but at the same time, as long as we can keep up this form, and as long as our players can keep, you know, get that momentum going, keep that confidence, because at the moment that we're playing, you know, we're playing very, very well. And we played them, of course, last year in Paris. We lost 3-2 uh, that day, and to be fair, PSG completely deserved it. They played very well. They pressed us well. They hit us on the break. They had pace in their team. They had energy. And on that night, we looked really lethargic and we looked really, really poor defensively. Um, but since then, I think we've come a long way. I really do. I think Ter Stegen's grown in stature. I think the entire midfield have got more of a structure now. There's a lot more energy in our side. And mostly the, the, the front three. I mean, look, you know, that front three is a force to be reckoned with. Like I keep saying, when they're on form, the opposition are in trouble. It doesn't matter what the rest of the team are doing. It doesn't matter what the opposition are doing. When that front 
front three is on form, they are very, very difficult to stop. So in the two legs, we've got to make sure that we involve them in the game. We've got to make sure that we really do put the pressure on PSG's defence because I do believe there's a mistake in David Luiz and I do believe there's a mistake in Thiago Silva. We saw them against, PS, uh, against Chelsea not really put under pressure in that second leg. Chelsea didn't really go and try and attack them. We are going to and we've got to make sure that we force the mistakes from them because they're going to be a difficult side to beat but I truly believe we can do it. So leave your thoughts down below guys. I want to hear your thoughts on the draw today. A very, very big day. The road to Berlin starts here. It's the quarterfinals. It's Barcelona against PSG and it's all on us. We've got to win it. Visca Barca.